Welcome to this week's Wellbeing Wednesday. Thank you so much to everyone that has been watching and listening and writing in with topics to be covered. A key theme that keeps surfacing has been individuals saying, you know, I have these strategies that I can do when I have 15, 20 minutes or at the end of the day, but what do I do in the moment when I'm there at my desk and I'm feeling stressed and I'm feeling anxious and I want to increase my focus and attention, but I can't leave and I have to keep working. So here are a couple quick tips for you for that. One is going to be to find a way to channel your focus and your energy to be able to pay attention more. There are so many distractions going on, things popping up on the screens, everybody's backgrounds. So for a lot of people, they find it useful to have something to channel that focus and attention to actually be able to listen more clearly. A couple strategies to do that. For some people, it's just having a notepad and a pen near their desk where they can write down all the other thoughts, take some notes, be able to really focus on writing things down. They remember and learn better that way. For other individuals, it may even be just doodling. Something that you're channeling and really being able to do something physical while your mind's able to then focus in on what's being said, because it can be hard when we're not face to face. Other individuals find having a little mini coloring book with some coloring pens to be able to just color in and be able to channel that energy to be able to focus. For people that are gonna need something a little more physical, being able to have, whether it's a fidget cube that you can be fidgeting with, a worry stone, there's these really great foot pads that you can put under your desk that you can be moving your feet on, or ro a foot roller ball, even a heavy one of those weighted pads that you can heat up or cool down to have some of that temperature to be able to ground you. And we do wanna make sure we pay attention to our desk space. Whenever there's any type of chaos, that can sometimes also distract us. Even if it's a few minutes of tidying up a few of the piles, sorting things out to get that done. Additionally, for those folks that need other ways to stimulate and to help them to be able to focus and de-stress, even getting something like a quick essential oil that you use during your relaxation other times that you can turn on a quick diffuser if you are in a space that it wouldn't disrupt other people, that can also help to trigger your mind to say, oh, this is usually relaxing. Let me be able to get into that space as well. So, so many different tips and strategies that we can use. Not enough time to cover all of those today, but I hope you find a few useful. Have a great week. Be well.